Good morning, lunatics. Welcome to Morning Java. Morning Java brought to you, as always, Hunter, by our good friends at the Gecko Cafe and Market, where, because it is the Selly days right now, you can get... Always prepared. <laughs> always prepared. That was on the spot, actually. But, nice. you know, no surprise to you. Yeah. 24 days of Christmas, or holidays, or holidays giving yeah. that get goes doing. But for us, it was really all, only ever about that chicken tender yeah. day, I think. I go, and they're like, you can have this for free today. Yeah. I'm like, uh, I'll take five chicken tenders and uh, three <laughs> more buffalo attendees. All on the side. day. All day. Every day. Which was not how Pitt played their basketball game. But they did pull it out. They played eight minutes of basketball and 32 minutes of something that I'm really not sure exactly what was happening there. It didn't sound like the players or Coach Capel knew what was happening there either. Man, a 15-0 and run is what was required to win this game. Brutal. I mean, like, when have you ever seen that? I, not this year, which is interesting because they, they've had some games like that this year, but they've lost them. They haven't found that gear at the end. And the Nichols State one is the one that I look at that this game really reminded me the feel of that game. Except against Nickel State, they just couldn't turn it on at the end. They found that spark here. Well, I mean, something that we saw for like most of the game was NIU was just willing to put up the ball from wherever. I mean, it reminded me of like John Beeline era, like <laughs> WVU, true. just That's like putting true. it up with Pitt Snoggle from Thought, like half yeah, court. Yeah, I was going to say it was Alex Ruoff out there or something. Man, but like they wouldn't rebound. Everybody in the crowd's yelling like, box them out, box right. them out, take the shooter. But they, they wouldn't. But there were still a few punctuation points because right. it was a team that likes to shoot the three. Pick got inside. They threw down some dunks, and they got in their heads a little bit, I think. Yeah, Northern Illinois star German is, is a great player, averaging over 20 points per game coming in. Everybody knew he could score the basketball, and we saw that, especially in the first half. I felt like he had 18 points like two minutes into the game and, and then just kind of held there. They pit switch to a zone and that really troubled them kind of helped lock him down in that way and also something that I didn't particularly pick up on in live time but Capel kept referencing cool ball at getting some minutes down the stretch just to provide energy and spark because he didn't pop up on the stat sheet but don't underestimate kind of the effect he had as far as just energizing the team no I think it was noticeable a couple of times too I mean they needed like I said they needed those exclamation points inside when they were able to get them and they were able to take them a couple of times I mean you know, you had you know Xavier Johnson and Trey McGowan's doing doing their thing. Xavier Johnson just bringing the complete shoe game again. Like I can't even That's what he does. continue He's to talk strong about strong shoe game for it's, sure. It's unbelievable. <laughs> His shoe collection is better than like my video game collection, which yeah. is like obnoxiously great. Even though I like don't have nice. time to play them, nice. but like I wish that I had those shoes because then people would like see them. Just throwing know? it out there. He had the shoe game, but McGowan's out of the two, you know, star sophomores had the game game tonight out of the two. McGowan's was shooting the three really well, which is something that if, if he can get that going consistently, it's going to open up his entire game getting to the rim. Yeah, the thing I liked too that, that seemed to help was that uh, it seemed like Capel was more willing to give McGowan's the ball and put the ball in his hand uh, for, for the second half, and he was allowing him to take some of those opportunities off the dribble and not just yeah. wait, stand around looking for, for shooting opportunities. Looked like he was able to get in maybe more of a rhythm by doing that as well. For sure, and Cap Capel didn't start McGowan's tonight. It was only the second time as a Pitt Panther that he didn't start, so that was a big thing as well, and the way McGowan's responded kind of said it all. You know, His strongest game of the year, perhaps, and coming off no start answered the call but Xavier had the shoes I'm just saying <laughs> I'm just saying the shoes make up for like not shooting the ball as all right, well all right I want this here, all right, all right. <laughs>